Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, a coffee mug, beautiful Bitcoin style, guys. Today, a video from home because it's kind of rainy, sunny, rainy, so I don't want to go onto the beach in the rain. I will stay comfortably here at my home talking, of course, about Bitcoin, the charts. I give you a trading tip. I will give you some travel tips. I will give you a beautiful news item that is very important for the Dutch people out there now, the Netherlands and also of course talking about some live advice yes and everything else that comes to my mind let's quickly jump into the video so i can show you the charts to tell you what bitcoin is gonna do now bam the first chart for the day guys of course the daily chart always looking at the daily chart yes um, some people ask Didi why do you always use bit stamp charts and not always buy bit because in the zoomed out version bit stamps just has the most data all going back to 2010 guys so I can always analyze the complete parts of Bitcoin uh, by bit has a shorter period so by bit I use for the shorter terms now on this daily chart you can see um, that that Bollinger Band is starting to compress and uh, whenever a Bollinger Band starts to compress there will be a breakout this breakout for me expected to the top to that green line over there uh, it's around 44k a lot of people expect a downward breakout which is of course possible but then still look that green line upcoming here that is increasing tremendously so at the moment we are already at 33,800 with this line and we will be increasing in the next couple of days so slowly following this pattern so there will be a moment we will be around 35,000 so if we would fall back in price we will fall back towards that green dotted line and that extension is going to go up a little bit more because we are still very bullish so that's a massive area of support over there so for the people that are waiting for the 32k dip that's of course also possible but it means that we need to fall back to the 200 daily moving average which is now around that 30k level but also increasing slowly so don't be too sure that we dip to 32k put some buy orders around 35k of course as well now let's jump into the next chart this chart beautiful uh, showing you the 50 rma and sir levels and we can see what is happening every time again so we can see three dots on the chart so the first the second and the third dot and from the third dot we can see an increase in price of bitcoin and it will take about 550 days in the first period in the period of 2017 so we can see the 50 rma beautifully increasing and also the price going tremendously up now if we compare that to this current situation we can see exactly the same we are touching that 50 rma two times we are taking a distance and the first dot now is appearing and if we now compare the current situation to the previous bull market guys we can see now that we had the first touch beautifully there of that uh, 50 rma the second touch on that 50 rma and now at number three the first dot of the sar is being created and that first dot of the sar if we calculate 18 bars so 547 days from here the bull market top should be somewhere in May 2025. Just like I've been telling you now for many months already, I expect the bull market top to be somewhere between April 2025 and somewhere in September 2025. So May 2025 would be beautiful. Let's make it 26th of May 2025. That is my birthday. Would be a beautiful birthday gift if then the bull market top will be there, guys. So yes, a beautiful chart that shows you that these patterns keep repeating over and over again now this chart if this chart is not making you bullish i don't know anymore i found this one on twitter on the twitter i think of crypto kit beautiful chart. we can see that every time during the four year cycle when we break that orange downward trend line we can see a white circle and from that white circle we get this beautiful curved run up white line uh, for the bull market now every time the same thing happens yes that white line becomes less steep of course we already talked about that that at every four year cycle will become a little bit less steep but you can see that at the moment we broke that orange line that's where the white circle is if we will keep this rounded trend line we could easily end up at a bitcoin price of around 140,000 us dollar per bitcoin so even with these diminishing returns 
that price could go up to $140,000 per Bitcoin. That's still almost 4.5 times the amount that we are now with the Bitcoin price. That's a beautiful return on investment if you're asking me. Very beautiful chart and show you also that we are nearing, of course, the halving in April 2024. We are getting closer and closer, so the possibility of Bitcoin dumping lower and lower becomes smaller and smaller the more we move towards that halving. Now, then we have this chart. I found that one on Stock Money Lizards. Beautiful neckline chart that uh, shows that every time when we break these important necklines, so the lines that were support for a very big time, but also became resistance for a very big period of time, when we break that neckline then again, that is of course a very bullish moment that will lead into that new bull market. Also here showing that if you would copy the previous bull run from the moment that we broke that neckline, we would end up somewhere between 140 and 200 hundred thousand dollars per bitcoin also beautiful chart guys i will keep posting these kinds of charts so i teach you to zoom out and to understand that it will take another one and a half year all the way into 2025 before that the bull market top will be there so you should be buying bitcoin every day at the moment guys all the way up to the halving i think it's still very cheap to buy bitcoin and there will be a moment you won't be below 40k again and you will be regretting that you didn't buy Bitcoin below 40k because you were waiting for 32k or 28k or 12k even. Just dollar cost average. Just buy every week a little bit of Bitcoin, dollar cost average. At the end, you will have a beautiful average price of accumulating your Bitcoins and you start to dollar cost average out around the top of the market, which will give you the most profits, guys. That were all the charts for today. I hope you really enjoy the charts again and yes these charts always tell you the same it's still a very beautiful moment to buy bitcoin don't worry be happy when it dips buy that dip but let's quickly jump first into the trading dip because i'm not going to tell you again that whole story why you should be buying bitcoin because if you're watching my videos now every day again and again and again and again and again you're probably getting sick of me telling you to buy bitcoin maybe you are already all in let me know down below in the comments but for all those that didn't buy bitcoin yet yes it's still not too late to double your capital when you invest now because we could easily go to 60 70 or 80k this next bull cycle so that's a beautiful return on investment if you ask me now let's jump into the trading tip The trading tip for today, guys, uh, last week we talked about the simple moving average, the exponential moving average. I educated you all week about moving averages. This week I'm going to educate you about candlestick patterns. Today we're going to talk about a combination of three candlesticks. So it's a three inside up candlestick pattern and a three inside down candlestick pattern. First, the bullish version. The bullish version is a three inside up pattern that's the one that you see here on the screen now so we have a large downward candle a red candle mostly and then the next candle after that will be a smaller candle that fits inside the body of that large downward candle and then the third candle will close its body higher than that second candle and that's what we call a three inside up candle so that's a bullish reversal pattern when we are bearish that is the sign we're going to move bullish again a three inside up pattern the other way around is a three inside down pattern when a three inside down pattern we have a large push a green candle then the next candle is a smaller candle that fits inside the body of the previous candle and the third candle closes with its body lower than the middle candle that's a three inside down pattern that is a bearish reversal so we were bullish but we are gonna reverse now to the bearish side very important candlestick pattern that you need to memorize if you look at the charts always look are we topping out almost in rsi are we seeing the top of the bollinger band and yes is that true is there a three inside down pattern yes you know we need to short it the other way around is there a three inside up pattern yes you know you need to long it that was the trading tip for today Hiding behind the bushes, guys, the travel tip for today is a very simple one. Uh, to keep your clothes smelling very fresh when you travel for a long time with a backpack or a suitcase, you just pop a dryer sheet into your backpack or into your suitcase. These square or these rectangle dryer sheets, they smell very fresh. If you put one of these inside of your luggage instead of in the dryer, 
when you open your suitcase, your clothes will smell very freshly. So yes, the travel tip for today, if you want your clothes to smell very freshly, pop a dryer sheet into your suitcase and maybe even two if you're a very smelly guy or girl yeah maybe three or four or five maybe the whole package if you really smell <laughs> but you can also spray some deodorant on yourself of course but uh, but to keep your clothes fresh pop a dryer sheet into your suitcase that was the travel tip for the day let's jump into the next part The news for today, guys, is sad news again for the Dutch market. After Binance left the Netherlands, now also BitGet is going to leave the Netherlands. So all Dutch people that are now trading on BitGet won't be allowed anymore to trade on Bitcoin from the 1st of December. That's like in a couple of days, like three days or something like that. So for all you out there, if you want to continue trading and investing and buying beautiful spot pairs and NFTs and staking and all of the possibilities, sign up to Bybit. Bybit is the only exchange out there that did their best, the ultimate best, to keep servicing the Dutch customers. That is why they did a cooperation with a Dutch company. So a Dutch company is a custodial service for all your tokens that you have on Bybit, which makes it very safe because they are completely accredited and verified by the Dutch government. And that is why Bybit is still acting in the Netherlands. So for all my Dutch friends out there, for iedereen die nu kijken is, that was Dutch guys. I can teach you some other Dutch as well, but I will don't do, won't do that now. But for all the Dutch people, sign up to Bybit. It is by far the best exchange out there. And secondly, it's also supporting your Dutch F1 racer Max Verstappen. Bybit is one of the main sponsors of Max Verstappen. They are full hardcore Dutch. They want the Dutch market to succeed. They want the Dutch market to trade. They did everything they can to keep servicing the Dutch market. So if you want to sign up to Bybit now, there is a special bonus. If you use my link down below, you can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in bonuses. It's all depending on how much you deposit, but you can, with a small deposit, already claim a beautiful bonus. You get $30 just for signing up. Just signing up using my link, you will receive 30 US dollar. So for all the BitGet traders in the Netherlands, it is time to wake up to move to Bybit because they did the ultimate best to keep servicing the Dutch market. So that was the news for today, guys. And I think it's very important that I include something else in this news as well, because I'm not in only here to shill Bybit. The important part that you need to start to understand is that more and more exchanges are having issues with being able to continue their business in multiple countries. We see what is happening in the United States. Binance already needed to leave the United States. Bittrex needed to leave the United States. Of course, FTX, but yeah, that was a done uh, deal. And I believe many more exchanges will have issues like this. Even Bybit, you know, I don't even know if they will keep continuing servicing the markets all over the world, but they did the ultimate best to keep servicing the Dutch people. But the most important part that I will try to educate you about, but you need to take it from here and educate yourself way more now, is about decentralized exchanges. Bitcoin is created to decentralize the world. And these exchanges that we have been using now for the last decade, most of them are all centralized. And they did an amazing job for the adoption for Bitcoin. Respect to Binance, respect to Kraken, respect to all of the exchanges. They did a kick-ass job in getting all these people onboarded in this industry. But it's time that we slowly start to think about the next step. If we want to really decentralize the monetary system, we should all start be using DEXs, decentralized exchanges that are unstoppable. They can't stop you from trading on a decentralized exchange. Because a decentralized exchange is not based in the Netherlands or the United States or it's decentralized. And you can start to trade on these decentralized exchanges by connecting your own wallet that nobody knows about, fully anonymous, with those decentralized exchanges and trade the same way you're trading on Binance or Bybit or BitGet, guys. Apex Pro is the best decentralized exchange out there. It will give you the complete same feeling as trading on a centralized exchange. Yes, you can put in buy orders, sell orders, you can use leverage, you can now even use the USDT pair as well to do up to 50x leverage. So it's completely doing the same that a centralized exchange does. The only advantage is you do not send your Bitcoins to this exchange. You keep your Bitcoins or your Ethereum or your other tokens on your own 
custodial wallet, self-custodial wallet, you connect that wallet to the exchange and you will be able to trade. Nobody will know that it is you because it's just a wallet trading on an exchange. You just need to make sure that that wallet is anonymous, that you do not fund it from a KYC regulated exchange. So you always do a step in between. So that is my biggest lessons for that news that we have been reading now for the last couple of days all over the world, that all these exchanges are being harassed and being forced to stop in many countries. Please start to educate yourself in decentralized exchanges. And if you want to start to educate yourself in the best decentralized exchange, in my honest opinion, then use the link down below to sign up to Apex Pro and you will experience exactly what I'm saying. You will see it's a beautiful app with a beautiful interface, very simple, and it works exactly the same as a normal centralized exchange, but you're anonymous, guys. So the move towards these decentralized exchanges is gonna happen no matter what we want in the next upcoming years, guys. That's why I already started investing in these exchanges a year ago, because I already saw what was happening to the market, to the regulations, to the whole KYC shit, and I already thought, these DEXs are going to be big in the future. And believe me, you should educate yourself as well. That was the news for today. Let's quickly jump into the next part. Another zip out of my beautiful coffee mug, guys. First, because it was a gift from my wife. I need to include it into the videos, of course, because else, you know, no jiggy jiggy. Mm. Thank you, wifey. Um, now let's jump into the question of uh, today. There was a follower and I was asking me uh, down below yesterday's video, Didi. Why are you always preaching to your followers Why most of these followers probably are already all in? Now, first of all, I doubt if that is true. I think most of my followers are not all in. I think they still have a shitload of their money on bank accounts. That's why I'm also preaching to those people. And I do respect if you're not all in, if you only go in with 10% or 20%, man, I'm shaking your hand, I'm giving you a box. Yes, I, I already find that really cool if you are in with 10%, guys, but I am preaching to my followers because there's also new followers streaming every day. I think we are getting in like 30 to 50 new followers every day. So these new followers also need to be educated. So please don't feel offended when I'm preaching to you guys, because that preach is not just to you about Bitcoin, that's to everyone out there. Maybe even people that don't follow me, but that just see my videos passing by and that want to be educated in Bitcoin. So don't feel offended that I'm every time talking as if you don't own Bitcoin, because that is that I'm also targeting all those people that don't own Bitcoin. And at the same time, I want you to understand that you should sell your house, your companies, your cars, your kids' toys, everything else, and go all in Bitcoin. Now, that's of course not the safest play, but you, what you also could do is, you could treat Bitcoin as your base capital. Every time when there comes a little bit of money onto your bank account, even if it's $100 or $500, bam, put it into Bitcoin. Keep the bank balance to zero and bump your Bitcoin balance up as high as you can. Because Bitcoin, is protecting your wealth and capital against inflation. These shit coins over there, the euros and the dollars that you're using, they are not protecting you against inflation. They are causing the inflation. They are causing you feeling shitty because you don't have any more money to spend after the first week after receiving your salary because it's completely gone in all the fixed costs that you pay every month. I just read an article in the Netherlands, I think next year, the electricity bill will be 2,400 euros higher for an average family. 2,400 euros higher for an average family. Is your salary also going to increase with 2,400 euros? Are the products in the stores also going to decrease with 2,400 euros on average per family? Healthcare? Of course not. Inflation is being created and you are the victims of this inflation because you stay truthfully to those currencies, those fiat currencies, those shit coins on your bank account. You should exchange every time when there is a little bit of shit coins there on your bank account into Bitcoin. We are in the middle of a bull run. Bitcoin is going to grow beautifully all the way up to 2025. So why would you still keep your money there if you know your money here will go higher and higher and higher? So I'm not only preaching to the new people that still don't own Bitcoin, but also to you guys out there that yes, do have a little bit of Bitcoin and yes, do believe what I'm saying, but still need to cross that little bump of going to treat Bitcoin as your main currency, not 
euro and dollar bitcoin should your, be your main currency to protect yourself against inflation to protect your capital from being stolen by the centralized entities like governments and tax companies that's why you should be in bitcoin now that was the answer to the question let's jump into the last part the beautiful inspirational part of the video hmm and that last part guys that brings me to the inspirational quote for today the inspirational quote for today is you must be the change you wish to see in the world so it is all about you if you want to see the world changing you must start with yourself you must change yourself don't only talk the talk but start to walk the walk i could have been talking for years now about going all into bitcoin but not doing it that wouldn't have taken me anywhere the reason why our story became a success is because we started to walk the walk we didn't only say ah we will go all in we went all in we walked the walk and there is a shitload of members in the community also influencers that are talking the talk and are pretending to be yes we are all all in but they aren't all in they are not walking the full walk so i think we as a family have been proving to walk the walk now for seven years of which six years completely bankless we are unbanked that is walking the walk an unbanked family are we ever going to use the banks i don't know are we going to be forced to use the banks i don't know but for the last six years we haven't been using them that is walking the walk so if you want to see a change in the world you need to start by changing yourself it's not only about bitcoin it is about everything in life if you want that certain activities in the world stop you need to start doing the opposite if you don't want war you need to create love that's how simple it is and spread more love all over the world and but you can talk about it but not act that doesn't bring you any further in life I think it's a very important lesson that you stop talking the talk and start to walk the walk and when you will change maybe your wife will change maybe your kids will change maybe the next generation will change but it all starts with you you need to start leading by example you need to be the change that you wish to see in the world when you start with yourself all the rest will automatically follow guys lead by example we are leading by example to our kids that we don't think that the normal life is a normal life we should be having a freedom life being able to travel where we are to go where we are to talk what we want to send bitcoins to whoever we want however we want how much we want freedom is the thing that we are teaching our children by leading by example if you keep listening to those centralized authorities that are oppressing your freedom what kind of signal are you then giving to your children i think the signal that you're then giving is you should listen to these centralized authorities that take away our freedom the moment you stand up speak out and fight those centralized entities for that oppression fight against them taking away your freedom your children will look up to you as your fighter for freedom and they will keep fighting for freedom as well but if you don't break the circle they won't break the circle as well so for me it's very important that you understand that if you want to see a change in the world it all starts with yourself and at the same time the positive effect is that you're leading by example for the next generation that we don't leave behind an enslaved environment where they are monitored 24 7 by cameras and they can only do what those centralized entities want them to do or spend bitcoins or money to the things that the centralized entities allow them to spend we don't want that future for our children and if you agree with me that you don't want that future for our children then it becomes time that you start to walk the walk don't talk the talk but walk the walk 
that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video then give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts about everything else that i talked about today so hopefully see you tomorrow again in another daily video probably then again on the beach if the sun starts to shine yesterday was a thai festival the light festival and it should be the day that the sun starts to shine and the rainy season is gone but today <laughs> it's not gone yet maybe in the afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning guys see you tomorrow again bye bye bam